I know you're wanting me to drop this camera lower so you can actually see my boobs, but I'm not. I went to Walmart and I also went to Dollar General. I don't know if you have a Dollar General store, but that is one of my all time favorite places to shop. I just love to go in there and browse. So I'll show you what I got from Dollar General and I hope everyone is good. So Wait, I spent $50 at Dollar General and I will show you what I picked up. I was glad that I picked these up. They were $2.75 there. Mattia is now going to be 14. He's playing football and he has discovered two things, Pop-Tarts and Kool-Aid. I had a pack of Kool-Aid laying in the pantry and when I was almost totally out of groceries a, a week before last, I made this Kool-Aid and he freaked out. And I started talking to my husband. I don't think he'd ever had Kool-Aid. Maybe in one of those kid meals, but he would take it out. He really wouldn't drink it. So anyway, I think it's funny. These were a dollar a can at Dollar General. So I went ahead and picked up two of these and I don't have to slice them. I just have to drain them and rinse them off. I got me this bra. It is called a cozy bra. Now, hang on, this is going to warrant a discussion. Anyone who knows me and knows me well knows that number one, I have big tatas. Number two, I hate bras. I detest bras. If I wasn't such a baby, a total chicken, I would have a breast lift, breast reduction. I'm a chicken. I know you're wanting me to drop this camera lower so you can actually see my boobs, but I'm not. I tell my husband it started a few years ago. I used to come home from work and before bedtime, like sometime around, I don't know, 7 30, 8 p.m., I'd be like, that's it, the bra is going, I am fed up. Then it got to where I was um, just coming home um, from work around 5 30 or 6, making dinner, and then the bra came off. Now it's gotten to where I don't care what time or day it is, my neighbors, if they want me to come outside, literally message and call and say, please come out with us. You can have a bra or you cannot have a bra. We don't care. I hate bras. I hate them. I don't know who invented them. I don't know why we have to have them. I know you wanted me to do that, but I hate them, hate them, hate them. So I found this cozy bra and we're going to see how it works. That is the story with the cozy bra. I am totally aware this is going to provide absolutely positively no support at all, but it might keep me from burning my boobs off in a cast iron skillet when I'm cooking because they're nearly hanging to the stove. So I'm going to try this. We'll see how I like it. I was kind of excited. It has kind of pretty uh, straps. It was eight bucks. If this works, I'm going to buy 5,000 from Dollar on. General. Um, I also picked up a book at Dollar General. This is one of the awesome things there. A lot of their books are $1. Some of them are $2. Um, this one was three. And this is my story. I may have talked about this in other videos. I don't know. I don't know if I talked to myself, talked to my friends, talked to you guys. No clue. However, Amy Tan, um, I did. I have read a few of her books from the library. I do not, um, and I did read the Joy Luck Club. Great book. Um, I do not like checking the books out from the library because... Um, in the summer, we're like at the pool and if we're traveling anywhere, number one, I have a phobia of losing my library book. And number two, if I'm sitting at the pool, my hands are wet and my chair is wet and my towel is wet and my swimsuit's wet and the pages get wrinkled. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to go to jail because I ruined a library book. So I don't like carrying around library books if we travel or in the summer, but I do love getting a good $3 book because I can put it in my beach bag, forget about it, and not have $55,000 in fines. So anyway, I picked up this book. It's called The Valley of Amazement by Amy Tan. Totally excited about that. Moving on. Picked up some zesty Italian we'll salad dressing, salad, this as will uh, this little jar of diced pimentos. Um, my mom had done something when I went to visit and I loved it. Um, she actually took two dishcloths and these are just $1 kitchen, not dishcloths, dish towels. These are $1 kitchen towels. She sewed them together and they are so, so absorbent. 
Let me know in the comments below if you want to see how that turns out or if you would like uh, to make your own. And maybe I'll do a giveaway and give one of these away. We'll see. So those are that. Yep, those are that. Mm -hmm. Okay, root beer. This is 2.5 liters. It was a dollar. Lemon lime soda, 2.5 liters. It was a dollar. I have them in their bags because this is our contributions to um, our two-year-old grandson's birthday party. I also picked her up some red streamers. They live in a really small town and they were completely out. So um, she's doing a Dr. Seuss theme and I picked her up one then, of these. Some of the last things. Um, my dog. Hang on. Okay, guys, look. Look at this. It's like a two-year-old lives here. Look. Sock. Laundry cap. Dog bowl. Pillow. Towel. Because that dog knocked a cup of water off. Shoes. It's absurd. It's a mess. Anyway, that's what I was saying. If you have a Dollar General... They are totally awesome for laundry detergent. Now, sometimes they will be more expensive, so you have to be careful. But this was $3 for 36 loads of Snuggle, and I cannot get this kind at my Walmart. And then these were on sale for $4. It's 33 loads of all stain lifters, and this one's the Fresh Tropical Mist. And so I picked that up. So those are two items I got. I also got these for the pantry, Matias football, and I take those just as snacks for them. Um, and then Andrea, of course, has his Keurig at work. So I got him a breakfast blend, coffee. That's, I guess, a Dollar General brand. He can try it out. I think it was $4.57. And then these were $2.76, which is quite a bit cheaper than Walmart. And this is the Caramel Macchiato. Okay, guys, I think that is it. I'm going to pan around. Um, okay, here is what I purchased at Walmart. My total at Walmart was $190, and I'm going to have to film it in segments, so this is just how I brought everything in. It's a little bit of a hot mess. Um, Picked hot dog those up. I did get these sub rolls. I used to get some there that were called brat rolls, but they didn't have them today. This is for dinner tonight. Some sausages we're having. Matias in love this kid and his sugar little bites fudge brownies he actually asked for those um the zesty the thick and zesty spaghetti seasoning i just keep this on hand um to kind of flavor up spaghetti sauce i am trying to do better with my eating again i'm not gonna i'm not going to elaborate on it a lot but um, i'm gonna go back to trying to have my um, turkey wraps for lunch so i like the garden spinach and herb so we I did get a loaf of bread. Nice cafe. Uh, pickled beets. I picked these up. I am trying to do better. We eat these on our salad. Uh, the Prego uh, pasta sauce. This is our favorite kind. I did pick up two cans of mushrooms. Chocolate chips because we were totally out. Again, I have a huge sweet tooth and I don't do any certain diet. I just do what works for me. So I picked up some dried mango. Artichoke hearts. Again, we eat this on our salad. I did pick up tostadas. I did get two boxes of macaroni and cheese. I am making the pasta salad for the birthday party. So I did pick up two boxes of garden rotini and a box of butterfly pasta. This um, we have at my bank, and I totally love it. It's the white cheddar smart food. We keep it in the little bags, and I picked that up for home. I did get some coffee creamer, an Almond Joy, and a Southern Pecan. I did get onion rings. Mattia likes these with his meals. He also loves pizza rolls. Let's face it, guys. He's a teenager, and we know the kid loves salad. We know he loves broccoli. I don't want to hear your hate comments. I've had enough of those. It is what it is. Uh, classic cheddar, Mrs. T's. I did get dark these. chocolate brownies. Picked up some Cheez-Its. I picked up some noodle soup. And some things. I'm just curious if anyone else has tried. I did get oven-baked cheddar and sour cream. I just like a few of these with my wrap. I have to take the rest of this out. I got a pineapple. I watched Sasha Beauty is in Everything and she was cutting up a pineapple and it made me want pineapple the whole week. Um, I got some romaine hearts, lettuce, and 
Fresh Here spinach. is the rest of Walmart. I did pick up some chicken patties for dinner, some baby Swiss cheese. I've seen a lot of people buying this frame, uh, flame broiled seasoned or whatever type of chicken um, breast. So you can just thaw it out, cook it up, put it on a salad or a wrap. So I did pick this up. This was on sale at Walmart. I picked up one pineapple. I think I already said that. Breadsticks, um, two pack of cream cheese, some cottage cheese. I did pick up some sausages. This is for supper tonight on those buns. $2.97. Some mushrooms. A container of Nutella. Some chocolate chip strawberry waffles for Mattia for the morning. And then I got uh, this Prima Della beef pastrami and honey uh, turkey, the Sara Lee. I did pick up a pack of the Bun Length All Beef Franks. I got Mattia a spaghetti for one night. If I'm just doing a wrap, I got um, Ashton I got Andrea. some of He's these. He's trying to be good as well. We've been walking in the evening. So I picked him up a lemon meringue yogurt and then a vanilla almond crunch. I got myself and Mattia a strawberry and a ba banana. I did get some heavy whipping cream. Ashton likes that in coffee. This is hand soap for the bathroom upstairs. And I left these in here because oh geez louise us my dogs you guys i am not gonna stop this my stuff is thawing out and it's 80 degrees they're barking at the dogs next door um glazed turkey this is just a lean cuisine they go to work with me a pepperoni pizza and then a roasted turkey breast another one so those will go to work for me I will go through this entire bag. It's heavy. She put everything in there. That's all my vegetables. This is my husband's. I did get these Wild Mike's Ultimate Pizzas. Um, I thought these were good. We're just down. It's just Andrea, Mattia, and I. So this is um, a Supreme. And then I picked up a pepperoni. Holy smokes, you guys. I am exhausted. This was the most unorganized grocery trip I've done in forever. I was not prepared to grocery shop. We need to talk about that in another video. And I just had so much to do when I came in, putting stuff away. The dishes were f in the sink and the dogs. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Here is the fruit and vegetables I bought. I did pick up three apples, a bunch of bananas. I'll go put these in the fridge. I got Ashton three limes, two lemons. She's been putting those in water. I did pick up this celery. It was a dollar. I know I can get a huge thing at Aldi, but I do. My refrigerator, if you guys remember the trouble with my refrigerator. Yeah, and the fact our house got hit by lightning and wow, you guys missed a lot. But anyway, everything froze in my fridge twice. All of my fruits and vegetables froze two different times. So, that guy was the verdict. We think we have him fixed now. Not the verdict, the cause. See, I don't know. Schizophrenia, brain dead. Anyway, two things, or a few things of celery. This was a dollar. I did get three avocados, two green peppers, three tomatoes. I will use one of each of these for the pasta salad that I'm making. Two cucumbers, then two tomatoes. I had a um, broccoli and then a bag of these sweet peppers. So anyway, that is everything I got. I spent $191 at Walmart. <sighs> we got lots to talk about, friends, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.